Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3. We are back in the cellar. I still have no idea how to open this one. Um, there's still a second set of the door. Wait. Oh! We were on the other side. Huh. Here lies Satida Atana, born 1411 DR, died 1485 DR. Here lies Reloric Windbane, born 1399 DR, died 1486 DR. Here lies Sister Shira Clarwen, oh, no. date of birth unknown, died 1491 DR. The amulet spirit's granddaughter. She's already gone. And for that I need Shadow Heart. A moment, so oh, okay. a private word would be nice. <laughs> it's not enough. We have a gallery of villains to look out for, but now we could be infiltrated by a shape changer. I can't even tell if any of you are acting strange because you've been replaced or because this group is full of weirdos. Are you worried about Kazador finding out your back? I won't lie. The thought hardly fills me with her glee. Even with my newfound advantages, he's still an incredibly powerful vampire. But he's arrogant too. If he does hear I'm back, he'll try to take me and expose himself in the process. Then I'll be able to strike. And how will you strike exactly? You won't be alone. <laughs> Neither will I, darling. At least I hope you'll come along for the show. But regardless, the plan is simple. Find him, stop him from gaining almighty power, and then really enjoy killing him. <laughs> and... I can seize that almighty power for myself. Well, all the better. Okay, but stay. Oh, darling, I'm hurt. I thought we had something special. I guess I'll spend my evenings lounging here while you do all the hard work. It sounds awful. For someone who's been tortured for over a hundred, two hundred of years? Where is Shadowheart? I lost her again. I swear I lost her again. Um, by the way, hi, Kit. Alright, you're taking a long while, um, we don't find you more. Hi. It's me, Yenna. You remember me, right? You're a shapeshifter. You really nice to me before, and, um, my mum hasn't come back yet. She might come later. I don't think she's coming. Could we maybe stay here? <laughs> Only a truly callous heart could refuse. Besides, our little abode could use a child's laughter. Of course we can stay. Yes! You've got a fire and everything! I can cook really good! Whatever you want! Thank you, thank you! What about you? I... It's really weird that I cannot talk to that... Oh, there's Shadowheart. That cat! Be honest. What do you think of the new look? If it helps you put the best behind you, I'm all for it. I have no idea what happened. Though, I don't think I'm quite done with the past yet. Not until I've been to Baldur's Gate. Okay. Right, some com Wait, now I'm curious. What happened to her? What new it look? Oh. How did that happen? Still breathing, despite everything. Orin's little display was just intended to rattle us. We mustn't let her succeed. We need to stay alert all the same. You mentioned Shar followers might be watching us. You think we can use them to track down your parents? I hope so. 
So long as I'm willing to stroll right into the Mother Superior's trap, they have no reason to not tell me where to go. What should we be looking for? Worms Crossing is a choke point. If I wanted to intercept a new arrival, I'd find somewhere before the bridge, blend in amongst the crowds, and wait. Most people seeking entry to the city will be refugees. I'd look wherever they're gathering. Okay, I need you to stay at the camp. All's well, I hope. Aside from the obvious. If you're sure. Yep. Fine. I just need the, the amulet. Right now, I have a way funnier company. <laughs> what can I do for you, my friend? Come on. Darling, I thought you'd never ask. Lead on. But actually, it's quiet. It's not sad, but it is strange. Wait, what? Oh, 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 honored Shira, her spirit has fled, and her body but merely a husk. <laughs> Swear I did to shed this foul mania and bestow it upon Shira. She was to endure, to suffer, as was her god Ilmata's want. Who now shall bear the madness Shah has wrought on me, so I might no longer suffer? Oh, ho, 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 ho. shall it be thou? What, Thunder, what do you know of the monk's affliction? What are the consequences of accepting it? Remember, I just gave myself arcana proficiency! Yee! The monk himself holds your answer. Tasha's hideous laughter is a powerful skill, but earning it may come at the cost of wisdom. Which I don't really use. <laughs> and what happens if I say yes? Thou shalt know the extent of Shah's mania, Tasha's hideous laughter at thine beck and call. But I already know it. What cost? Who might say? <laughs> No, thank you. <laughs> well, if laugh I must, let our alliance end on a lark. Really? <laughs> Eternally cursed, then, my spirit be. I... No. Morning, Lord, I call to thee. Lend your forbearance. No. He's gone. Well, he was always good for a laugh. Oh, I was fairly sure I had Tasha's laughter. Oops. Well, apparently I don't. And I need to unlock this, these doors, which I forgot to do so later. Show off. Here we go. No? Oh. Thank you. Now let us go back here. There's still a cloud kill. Wait, we have made hand. Get over here. I 
Ridley. The corpse has nothing to say. Okay, and I, I don't think we've found the right... Oh, this one. We'll have to go back to the circus. The corpse regards you lifelessly. I found this flower key. What is it for? Flophouse. Dolos. Secrets. Who is Dolor? Blood red to war. Oh. Tricky. How wait uh, b -b 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 how many move out there? That's not very important. Who do you work for? We. We. The corpse tries to speak, but something prevents it. Hmm. Did you ki kill Father Lorgan? No. Where is Dolor now? The corpse remains silent. It does not know. The spell's power hmm. waves. You can ask no more questions. Okay. It was useful. Flop house. But once again, I have an idea how to deal with that. And now this. Wait. Oh. Shouldn't have wished to live in more interesting times. Do you know this is a cantrip? It's one special rest, really? Okay, um... No time to rest? Uh, do you also... <laughs> May I just him? No. Okay. Have a lot on my mind. Should have... And oh. time to get going. See, sometimes I'm smart. Father, can I go? Not very often, but sometimes. Probably poison resistance would have been enough, but it wouldn't be as fun. Hmm? Did I? Yep, I looked at you. Okay, so this is open. Uh, investigate the circus. It's night? No, it just... Okay, this is just a... Shadow. I'm not doing anything. It's saving. I'm waiting, okay. And the game is once again... Oh, no, it's okay. Yeah, it's something up here.
Maybe we'll finally manage to get into the city. You know what to do. Be careful. Oh. There are traps about. Right. I'm not kidding. Oh, what I wanted to say earlier because I uh, stopped. Uh, just the way you can replace basically anyone on the team. Let's have a look. With a starling, it's not that easy. You don't get another person that can that's using so much dexterity. If I can say it like this, Will is warlock. So if I remember correctly, it's charisma. Uh, Halson is a druid, and you get him. Uh, in the middle of the game. Keep your distance, darling. Oh dear. Someone's left to trap for us. Gail. Uh, I think intelligence. Karlach. Is Karlach. Okay, Will, please. Use fireball. Careful not to trigger that thing. Can you please? No. Careful, I'm behind. Well, Slazel. Strength. And um hmm. Shadow Heart. She's a cleric, so wisdom. Like we kinda have one for each. But oh, okay, no. But as you can see, others I can trade in out. I can take uh, Halsin instead of Lazel or Shadowheart. I can take Gale for some DPS. Don't. What was that? But there's really no one else I can take for disarming traps. No one stopped me yet. Don't get me wrong, I could have made a hmm. character that's hmm. my legs. I can't feel them. Tell the others. Let the boss know. This man is not long for this world. Who is your boss? Stone Lord. He'll saw this. He'll get him. You hear the blood gurgle in his struggling lungs. His last ounce of strength is spent. Anything of use? I know he's still warm. But be glad this is the thing I did to his still warm corpse, not the other one. Uh, oh, by the way. Somewhere here. Yeah. Please don't go into any traps. You know where they are. These boots have seen everything. Wait, how is that? Oh, probably just a shortcut. Oh no, it's a whole different area. But if I understand correctly, this way we should... No! <laughs> we won't go around them. Okay, this is another way... Like, another way we can go down here. Oh, 
Should we be going there? Okay, let's go back to the living town. Let's go back to the circus so I can talk with the dead. All this kerfuffle over missing rat caps. Yes, we'd caged them due to unruly behavior, but as our rat cap cleaners demonstrate, most are perfectly harmless. Yeah, I'm pretty sure the killer is a rat cap. No, I think about it, he's most definitely the rat cap. I mean. If someone does not really know what he's looking at, they could be mistaken for dwarves. Hmm? Yep, and we can speak with him. The corpse regards you lifelessly. What happened to Dribble the Clown? Bathed in his blood. A death worthy of the list. Of the tribunal. What's the tribunal? The greatest honor. Of them all. Where is Dribble's corpse? Mistress needed his body parts. For her art. You single me out from the crowd, why? of creature are you? A shape changer. People call us doppelgangers. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Do not mistake them with changelings. Okay. Is that enough or do you need the corpse? Okay. So, so I guess we'll go by our way into the Baldur's Gate. Oh, Been pretty much everywhere here. Especially in short scars. Although I am kinda. I'm not afraid, but worried about what may happen after we enter the short scars. Okay, hello, hi. Please let me through. Halt! By orders of Lord Gortash, refugees are no longer allowed in the city. Turn around. I have urgent business in the city. Well, do you have the means to support yourself? Yes. Right. Article 30.1.5 of the Council's decree on extraordinary wartime measures. I am confiscating that. The city thanks you for your contribution. Your name? Uh... <clears throat> uh... I'm called Daisy Dewdrop Fluffington. Well met, citizen Fluffington. Your parasite stirs. 
From the construct, you feel connection, resonance. State your business. Uh, Baldur's Gate is the next stop on my fair and white poetry tour. Still. Mm. Behind the watcher's gaze, a presence awakens. You are seen. You are known. Your party's prior transgressions are reflected in its stare. As witnessed by the cult's ever alert, scrying eyes, it knows the cold walls of Moonrise Towers. And the cultists who fell there, the Watcher speaks directly into your mind with a voice like poisoned honey. You are marked for special treatment. Not simply an enemy of the people, but an enemy of the Absolute. Come quietly, or die. Okay. Your peaceful surrender has been noted. You will be transferred to Worms Rock Prison. Where you will await further sentencing. Eat this, you pile of junk! Villains, take heed. God damn it all! Recovery oh, is imminent. Bastards, or I'll have your head! Hurry, guys, hurry. I don't mind it. Honestly. I'd probably break his I didn't see any way up. Well we could try jumping, but I don't think they these windows are fit enough for us to jump through. The runaway is still missing after all. Nothing happens until he's found. Want me to save? You look special. Word to the wise. Give that ill mate to Temple a wide berth. Rude buggers. Certainly not bringing my trade there again. To be fair, the high priest just died. Does that excuse being rude? Excluding folk? Come off it. They wouldn't let me in. Spouted some tripe about my sort and absolutist murderers. I only wanted to sit down a minute. I thought priests were meant to be polite. So did I. What's your tra trade? Let me show you. Okay. Supreme Elixir of Arcane Cultivation. I mean... Why not? <laughs> not that we need it, really. Oh, potions. Yes, those we need. And trap disarm kids. Yes. Right, I keep forgetting to use my... Oh, oh. Um... Thank you. Pleasure doing business. Sure. Portion of mind reading. Yep. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Wow. Chill. No, it wasn't Deliria. Need to go even further up. We should go. I do not want to face the master if we're late for his black mass. Soon, sister. I only need one more mark. We have enough for the master. 
No more needed. It's not for the master, it's for me. I spent 100 years eating rats and dogs, but soon I'll be able to feast. I want someone there, ready for me. And once the mass is done and our Lord grants us freedom, I can celebrate by drinking them dry. Cazador promised you your freedom, and you believed him. Ha! You were never burdened with intelligence, Petras. But your load seems especially light these days. Astarian? It... It cannot be. Oh, that's no way to welcome back a brother, Dahl. <laughs> Didn't you miss me? Why would you come back? You got out. You were free. Okay, let him take care of that. Isn't it obvious, sister? He wants to ascend with the rest of us. He heard about the ritual and the power our master will grant us. So he came back with his tail between his legs, hoping all would be forgiven. <sighs> you always were an idiot, Petras. Is he hiding? Tell me! Brother! Please! Stop. That's enough. Wait. Put that there. Wretched life to my friend. Now tell me what I need to know. The master is preparing the Black Mass. Beneath his palace, there's a defiled chapel. It was hidden there the entire time. Hidden from us all. Do you really think you can stop him? I'm the only one who can. The sun can't harm me. Casador can't compel me. I don't need to fear him anymore. Now go, before I change my mind about roasting you, brother. This isn't over, Astarian. <laughs> Poor fools. They actually think Cazador will save them. They'll warn him we're coming. Yes, and they'll be trembling in fear when they tell him. They're no threat to us. And they have no choice but to do Cazador's bidding. I pity them. Worst of all, they don't know their fate's already set. <laughs> They're doomed. The only question is whether their lives will be sacrificed to a monster like Cazador or serve a greater purpose. Seven sigils. On seven spawn. And Cazador has the other six. We have to face him. And take that power for ourselves. For ourselves? For yourself, you mean? Well, yes. Technically, only I will ascend and gain the ritual's power. Mm hmm. But we're a team. If I become all powerful, then we become all powerful. We are a team, aren't we? You are still with me. So we went from narcissist to bully to. What was that? Mm -mm -mm. Oh, a psycho. We're a team. I've got your back. <laughs> I knew I was right about you. You're a true friend. And now we know he's skulking beneath his palace. We can take the hunt to Cazador. All right, let's go. This place stinks of rat blood and despair. It's 
I swear I only need one thing. Wait, how do I go? Oh, this is how we go higher. I need just one thing to be 100% with you. Really. A booty. Um, hmm? That shapeshifter's key unlocked the door. Interesting. A list of names. Father Logan's on here, crossed off. A target list, perhaps? Blood. Near the bed. Oh no. You notice some blood has pooled on the wooden floor. You notice the blood source. A body hidden under the bed. Well, take it out. The corpse regards you lifelessly. Who are you? Leon Gold Grind. How did you die? Murdered by my son. Slain by her own offspring. A perversion of nature. Why? Who is your son? What does your son look like? A dwarf like me. Dresses in red. So he is Lord. Okay. Why did your son kill you? Found his secret. My sweet boy. Why? The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. Weren't they talking about the girl? Dwarf in red? For me. Just thinking. Ooh. Okay. Hold me, please. Okay. Where's Gail? Me. No. Right away. At least things have stayed interesting. That is interrupted. Mm. Really? Okay, we are in Charles's caress. It's you! Another case closed, another bottle open! Huzzah to Valeria! <laughs> Hang on a sec. I recognize that face. You were talking to Yanis after I left the temple. I bet she's put you up to something. 
I'm afraid so. I found new evidence, investigator. Why must you busybodies insist on interrupting a perfectly good night? <sighs> I know that look. You remind me of Devella. Fine! If you doubt my conclusions, out with it. What have you found? Mm. Who's the villa? My assistant. She's posted in the lower city investigating Duke Stelmane's murder. Now, back to it. What have you found? A group of shape-shifting assassins were under the temple, along with more murder victims. Well, that is startling it still doesn't disprove my theory that brilgore killed father Logan, does it that's what you need if you want to change my mind hard evidence a reason too if you're at it why was Logan killed hmm i found on the body in the flop house nearby i think it's related <gasps> you're telling me more than one person has been killed in Baldur's gate you must have something better than that. I need hard evidence and a motive. Why would someone else kill Logan? How can we be sure it wasn't Brilgor? I spoke with Father Logan's corpse. He was killed by a dwarf dressed in red, not Brilgor. That doesn't make sense. Why would this dwarf kill Father Logan? <laughs> I need something more than vague allegations. I want something compelling. Hard, tangible evidence, and nothing less. You have testimony of the murder victim. I found a murder weapon you missed in a tunnel under the temple. That's quite the discovery. Doesn't tell me everything, though. Why was Logan killed? Hmm, could be to do with how he was helping the refugees. Could doesn't quite cut it here, I'm afraid. I need a solid, provable motive. Come back when you've got some real evidence. Fine. You have the key to my heart in that. Just some random citizens on surface. I put it on especially for you. Don't take it off later. I want to give it a good run. You? Damn, Hoots. That new batch burns stronger than a pit fiend's fist. I'll take that as a compliment. Take it however you want, but I'll be having my usual from now on. Oh! It's Raphael's favorite misadventurer. Good to see you again, even if you have put me out of pocket. The boss bet me five soul coins you'd reach the city in one piece. He rented a room upstairs in the hope that you'd drop by. What does he want with me? He wants to help you save the world. What else? Take your time. Have a drink. Sample the goods. Go see him when you're feeling refreshed. Sure. Wait, um... I thought I did. But I was sure he wanted um uh, where is it? We only just strange creature again, the one who's putting it by guns, we have to have a treasure scene when we have a guide. Is this not what he Okay, let's find some private place. Is there anything? Oh my goodness, this place is so laggy. Um, don't hear me. Hey, you. Uh, you. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Okay. I have no idea uh, not here. Um, Sorry. Curious what's happening here. A new face. Looking for another chapter of dirty law for your biography? 
You have but to ask, and we can grant you a moment of pleasure. Don't be shy. An intriguing pair. Takes me back to my youth. What? How did you end up here? I used to work as a courtesan back oh. then, and my sister as an artisanal masseuse. But men are treated like dogs by the Underdarks matriarchs, so we fled. We found surfaces craved the body of a drow like a drug. Life is easy in our line of work. As long as you're here of your own free will. Life is prosperous. I'm much happier kissing the many lips of the surface than tending a field or manning a shop. I'm glad you found a place you feel safe. I'd have to restrain myself far more than any play bindings do if I worked in another field. This is a place where I can be myself boundlessly. There are so many who come to me speaking of a fixation that no one else has ever been able to share with them. And never will again. A once-in-a-lifetime moment of passion. Every day. What could be better? Don't you want to try it? Trust me. You don't want to miss my signature Mezzo Baranzan love trick. Why do I have a feeling it includes spiders? <laughs> but this is why we are the bard. Both of you. In that case, we will require two of you. And indeed, I suggest it, because I have never seen a creature as fair as this pale bow beside you. <laughs> what a world. I never dreamed I'd be on the paying end in a brothel. But our leader here has made the dire mistake of failing to sleep with me so far, and it's a mistake I have been aching to correct. What? I'm sorry, we should correct that mistake. Oh, so eager. You're delicious. Perhaps you'd care for a little extra company. Oh, I suspect we shall be more than merry. Charming. There must be a sprinkling shower of gold first. <laughs> Coin. Okay. Let's go. This is thrilling. We're gonna regret that. I'm fairly sure of that. I don't trust them. <laughs> They're dro. You don't trust dro. The time when Toaster was playing, I think it was Divinity Original Sin 2? Or it was Pathfinder? Long story short, he paid for sex, he was um, robbed and he was uh, almost killed. So yeah, I'm fairly sure this will happen to us. That we will die, probably. Oh my goodness, don't lie. Mushrooms. There are mushrooms. Actually, that's the least weird thing I would have expected. As much as I enjoy when others watch, that wasn't included in the prize. So it was with her. Look, you didn't sign a treaty permitting you to march a war band through my lands. You paid for sex. You mean Gale? Uh, my magic. My pleasure. 
I paid for those two. Have a lot on my mind. And well, in it. I literally paid for free. Quite the merry little party we have assembled here. In Kuela's all custom from our home, groups of five or more meet quorum to qualify as orgies. Four or fewer are simply a gathering, legally speaking at least. Shall we? Let's pray this won't end into a bro. I hope you're not afraid of the dark, my darling. I must snuff out the lights before we begin. It's all part of the experience. The room is bathed in total darkness, so there is nothing to distract from your ecstasy. Dark vision. The lady, Nim, moves your hand to where the clasps of her blouse lie. All right, sweethearts. You dare to dance with a professional. You'll get your desire. His skin is like lusted pearls, almost translucent and so delicately smooth. He's so perfect. It could move even the toughest soul to tears. Hmm. Nature used all of its powers when it sculpted you, Astarian. It's so easy to see why that body alone ruined so many lives. You haven't earned the right to stare at me like that. Big talk coming from you, who always wants to eat me. I can't help myself. You look so... delicious. I hope you like a kiss with teeth, druid. <laughs> as long as you like to be caressed by claws, Astarian. For this, I feel we should be paying you. Astarian lavishes attentions on everyone present with flawless technique, unfazed. It's all pure instinct, but when you meet his eye for a moment, there's a look about him that reveals he's a million realms away. Serve any foul whim. Name the price. Is there anything duller than a loyal dog? Hmm? Oh, Seems simple enough. Yeah. Can't slow down. Whoa. Everyone, everyone, okay. Please don't do that. This place for some reason lags so much. Okay, before we go to the to Raphael. What can I do for you, my friend? Okay, we won't comment on that. Great. Gail, do you have something to say about this? What do you need? Nothing. Perfect. That's what I like the best. You must hear me, devil. I will do whatever it takes. Give you anything you ask. There is only one thing in this world that I desire. You do not have it. And you never will. You must help me, Raphael. For the sake of my people. Hush now, Voss. These guests may not know it yet. But they want the same thing that you do. And unlike you, they have something of value to offer in return. Whatever you discuss with this devil, I must hear of it. Find me below in the tap room once you're loosed from his claws. I'm glad you came. Not to my door. Not yet, but to the final reckoning. One more thing before we begin, though. For 
For the first time since the Nautiloid, your mind is clear. It's unsettling. I, f I feel empty. What did you do? I gave you back your privacy by shutting that illithid in your pocket out of your mind. It can't hear us. Then speak freely. Why you brought me here? I brought you here because I'm true to my word. And I can make all of this tadpole business go away. Which means you and your lovely friends can remain blessedly free of tentacles. Let us speak plain. I'll admit, you've impressed me. I wasn't sure you'd make it this far. But no matter how far you come, you're still on the road to ruin. A road that leads directly to a confrontation with the Elder Brain. At best, it will kill you and everyone else in this city. At worst, it will assimilate you, and you won't have enough free will left to even wish you were dead. You have the key to destroying it in the palm of your hand, though. Orpheus. Very perceptive. Yes. I can give you the means to break him free. But I know how to do that. Why would I want to free him? I suppose you'd rather suck on the Emperor's tentacles till the end of your days? Well... This is your only hope of surviving this horror show without devolving into an illithid. To you, he will be a friend. After all, you're at war with an elder brain. You don't know Gifianki too much, do you? I'm infected. I'm already dead. All the evidence I've seen suggests Orpheus is my enemy and the Emperor my ally. If I'd realized you were so gullible, I'd have tricked you into selling your soul for a pocket full of beans when we first met. To the Emperor, you are nothing more than a beast of burden. One that will transport it to the Elder Brain. An ox requires food and the occasional beating to keep it moving. You are simpler. The Emperor's words serve as both carrot and stick. Perhaps it is true that Orpheus would ally with you against the Elder Brain. If he proves uncooperative once free, you may have to kill him. We're done here. I'm leaving. I won't stop you. But time is running out. So don't stay away for long. If you see reason, I'll be here waiting. Right up to the moment the world ends. Investigate versus caress. What? Wait, I don't get this one. Investigate, investigate. Where is it? Castor's Palace. It completed. Um. I don't want to talk with him. This one is weird. Um... There you are. I thought I'd lost you. Something was blocking me from hearing your thoughts. Hmm. 
Well, it was nice to have a moment of peace and quiet. I can understand that. There's reprieve in solitude. But it's concerning that something could intervene like that. Especially when we are so close to the Elder Brain. Do you have any idea what it was? No, no, you know, maybe the brain. You didn't feel it. Then perhaps my protection. But I was sure. Never mind. We must press on. I will bolster your mental defenses and make sure this doesn't happen again. Let's play stupid for now. Ooh. What's that? I wish I could nymph squatter. I mean, to try. Brothel? Pleasure house? Yes. Can we go inside? Okay, let's not interrupt nymphs. They can be quiet. Delish. Citizen, citizen. I want to give it a good rumple. Kira? The cat. Come to pay your respects to the real lady of the house, I see. What a clever creature you are. It's your lucky day. I am receiving compliments at this time, and you are most welcome to make an offering. Your eyes are two bell bellful jewels that strike fear into the most complacent of rats. Oh, you are quite correct. I consider them one of my finest features. The unwashed rabble who frequent this establishment have much to learn from your deference. And I must suffer their foibles alone. But they do say a burden shared is a burden halved. Do I want to know about who's through those fancy curtains? The drow, two of our yeah. most popular courtesans. A night with them seems to be rather life-changing, if you can afford it. We already did. Of you. course, they are siblings, but judging from the throngs of clients they draw, most of the city is as disgusting as they are. What's the trady pair over there whispering about? Can't you hear from here? Unfortunately, they're no. talking about the new top cat in the criminal underbelly. Go and listen for yourself. As for them personally, one never washes and instead douses himself with rose oil, while the other can't hold his drink. Good to know. What are your thoughts on the clientele as a whole? That's rather a broad topic. We get all sorts here. But there is one frequent visitor whose very presence offends me. He dresses fabulously, but stinks of the hells. Something infernal, to be sure. Abhorrent. Foul creature indeed. Okay. Remember our vow to keep one another safe. Uh, but that is gonna be it for today, so for now, thank you very much, stay alive, and see you soon. Bye!